Well, during Utah's weekly COVID-19 briefing, state leaders announcing a COVID-19 vaccine will be here soon, and they're hopeful this will drive down cases. And as the fight against COVID-19 continues, digital contact tracing does begin. ABC 4's Haley Hendricks has that story. Once the Federal and Drug Administration approves the COVID-19 vaccine in the U.S., Utah Governor Gary Herbert says more than 154,000 vaccines will be shipped to the state within 24 hours. Utah's vaccination plan suggests frontline health care workers will have the opportunity first. And new today, the governor announcing teachers and staff in K-12 through schools will also receive priority, having the option to be vaccinated by mid-December or early January. We need students to learn, but we need teachers to be able to teach. And we're trying to make sure we have as a safe an environment for our students and our teachers as we can. The Utah Education Association President Heidi Matthews responded to the announcement saying she appreciates public school educators being placed as a high priority. It's now been two weeks since Thanksgiving and officials say they were bracing for the worst. But new data suggests case counts were not as anticipated. Instead of being in the three to 4,000 range, which we'd anticipated, we've been in the mid 2000s. But it is not nearly the surge we were expecting post Thanksgiving. Moving forward, if you test positive for COVID-19, state epidemiologist Dr. Angela Dunn says you may receive a text message rather than a phone call as digital contact tracing begins. The hope is that it's speeding up the initial case investigation process on the link that's going to be in the text message is an opportunity for the person who tested positive to put in all the information for their close contacts. Dunn says no personal information will be asked in the text message, only in the secure link. Reporting in Salt Lake City, Haley Hendricks, ABC4 News. Thank you, Haley. And now